Start by attaching two of your 45 inch strings to the base of the keychain clasp using a reverse lark's head knot. If you are going to be using a cork board and pins, go ahead and grab one pin and pin the keychain clasp onto the cork board. Take the outer left string and bring it inward over the next string. Use that next string to tie one diagonal clove hitch knot around the lead cord. Do the same thing on the other side. Take the outer right hand string, bring it over the next string, and then use that next string to tie one diagonal clove hitch knot over the lead cord. Use one of the lead cords to tie a clove hitch knot around the other to join the two sections of knots together. Take another length of your pre-cut string and holding it at its halfway point, place it on top of the two strings on the left hand side. Align it with the previous row of knots and then pin down the keychain at one of the previous knots just to hold everything in place. You're going to take the two strings and tie diagonal clove hitch knots around the new lead cord. Then grab another string and do the same thing but on the opposite side.
like we did with the first rows of knots, you're going to join the two lead cords together with a diagonal clove hitch knot. For this next step, you're going to need two new strings and you're going to attach them to the top strings using a reverse lark's head knot. Once the new string is securely attached, you can slide it so that it is sitting right next to the previous knots. repeat on the other side. Now we are going to create two new rows on each side of diagonal half hitch knots using the string we just attached as lead cords for each row. So start with the innermost side of the string that you just attached, that will be your first lead cord, and use the next three strings down to tie clove hitch knots around the lead cord. Now repeat the same step but on the opposite side of the keychain. Now it's time to create another row using the next string over. So bring that next string down towards the center of the keychain, and you're going to use that as your new lead cord for another row of diagonal clove hitch knots. repeat on the other side. For the last row of diagonal clove hitch knots, we are going to do things a little bit differently. So you're going to start with the outermost cord, turning it inward to be used as the lead cord, tie the first clove hitch knot around it as usual. Once you've finished with that knot, you're going to take the loose string from that working cord and join it together with the lead cord. So those are both going to be considered your lead cords from now on. Tie the next knot around both of those two cords. And each time you move on to a new knot, you're going to join the previous working cord 
with the lead cords. So for the next knot, you're going to have three lead cords and tie your next clove hitch knot around all three. And continue adding previous strings to your new set of lead cords until you have reached the center of the keychain. Repeat the same technique on the opposite side as well. Now it's okay to remove your keychain from the cork board. Flip the keychain over to the back side and now grab the last string. This is the 20 inch string and you're going to tie a gathering knot around the base of the heart. So start with the shorter side on the left and the longer side on the right. Pin it in place with your thumb and then start wrapping the longer end of the string around as many times as you think you'll need. I wrapped it around about four times total. And once you're done wrapping, take the loose end and thread it through the loop on the bottom. And you're gonna pull the loose string on the top to secure it all in place and tighten the knot. Next, trim the loose cord on top, and then trim all remaining cords on the bottom to your desired length. Now you have a completed heart keychain. Enjoy!